Hey everyone, so I've been messing around with trying to get multiple versions of Minecraft um, running on the same computer at the same time so that I can have one which is currently up to date always for personal single player use and one for um, mods um, and also one that can stay um, on older versions for the server that I'm on. So I'm going to try to show you guys how to go through that uh, process of setting up multiple versions of Minecraft so that you can do the same thing. So what you'll need to do is um, you'll have to create a separate folder for each version that you'd want and you can do as many as you want. So the way that you'll want to set this up, oh and one thing that I do want to mention before I go on is that if you use magic launcher to manage your mods um, then you will have to um, I can I'll bring this I'll mention this again later when it becomes important but uh, this does not work specifically with magic launcher because it's going to be looking for specific files that are in a specific place but you can have uh, one version of Minecraft running with Magic Launcher um, and then everything else every other version of Minecraft that you'll be running will have to either use um, you'll have to either install the mods manually or just run it with no mods at all so what you'll need to do is first go to wherever you uh, want to create the folders for um, your Minecraft versions. Um, I already have a folder that I use in my program files. So what I what you have to do is create a new folder and call it something any something specific, anything that you want to. Um, and then inside this folder you'll have to create two new folders. One is called bin and one is data. Inside the bin folder, you'll need to put the actual executable for Minecraft. Um, I usually just copy this one that I have already here, and this is, um, I believe this one is not updated, so it's not to the current version, but you just drop that into, just copy that over into the bin folder, um, and then leave the data folder empty unless you want to copy the settings from your old, from your currently existing Minecraft executable. But if you want to start completely fresh, and I do recommend doing it this way, um, just leave this data folder empty. Then out here inside your uh, new Minecraft folder, you'll want to create a new text document and call that something, anything that you want to, like launch Minecraft. Uh, test 001. So just based off the name of my folder. Inside this text document, you will want to cr you'll be creating a batch file for this. So you'll have to create a set of commands that will go in here that will actually tell Minecraft to run a separate version. So in here, you'll have to s type in set app data, and those all have to be caps equals and you'll have to put the directory for this bin folder and so it's easier to just grab it from here and paste that so this will just be the directory to wherever your new bin folder is and then down here you'll have to say you'll have to tell it where um, oops sorry that's actually supposed to be data and on the second line, you have to tell it where the actual Minecraft executable is. So, bin minecraft.exe. And just save that. And then go back to it and rename the extension from .txt to .bat for batch file. And it'll prompt you for, it'll give you a warning to say yes. Okay, so now, uh, in order to run this specific version of Minecraft, you'll have to launch it using this batch file itself. 
So just double click on that batch file, it will run Minecraft and because nothing was in this data folder before, it will act as if this is a brand new fresh install of Minecraft. So all your settings will be uh, reset to the default and you will have no worlds um, saved in this one. So if I were to just log in, it will update Minecraft to the latest version and we'll start from a fresh copy as if you had just downloaded Minecraft for the very first time. Now you can always um, copy over your and I'll show you where you'll want to if you want to keep the settings from your old Minecraft versions I can show you how to do that but you'll see over here it'll start from fresh. But if you want to copy over your settings from the old Minecraft you'll have to replace the .minecraft folder that's in this new data folder and the way to you get to your default .minecraft folder is go to your uh, personal folder and this folder is hidden it's uh, called app data but you can get to that by going to start the start menu and typing in this uh, uh, sorry you have to go to run and then type in the percent sign app data and then the percent sign again and it'll open up the folder that you're trying to get to but if you have hidden folders shown it's just in your personal folder it's called app data and then under roaming and this will take you to the same folder so in here in the very beginning you've got this dot minecraft folder and this folder here will actually have all of your settings and all your worlds from your current version of minecraft that you have this is the default uh, save location for everything so all your mods will be in here from the previous version all your saves will be in here every screenshot that you have all your texture packs that you install that'll all be in here and if you want to create a direct copy of this into your new version, you just have to copy this .minecraft folder into the data folder that you just created for the new version. Now, um, I did mention that this has an issue um, with Magic Launcher. Uh, Magic Launcher, like I said before, will look specifically in this area in the app data roaming folder for this .minecraft folder and um, as far as I'm aware there's no way to change this um, so if you have if you are running mods through magic launcher um, I suggest you keep um, the default version of minecraft in here as well so that you can run uh, the magic launcher using this .minecraft folder but then every other version of minecraft that you install will be using the newly created .minecraft folder in the data folder that you created. So to just show you the differences, I'm going to delete this one. I personally use Magic Launcher, uh, so my <coughs> sorry about that. My default, my primary Minecraft. This is actually um, not updated to the latest version of Minecraft, simply because of the server that I run on uh, uses Bucket and we have other mods as well that um, are currently preventing us from updating to the latest version of Minecraft so we're stuck on 1.1 so I use this uh, version of Minecraft only for the server that I'm on and it also has all my world's single players from stuff from before um, but then I also have this Minecraft vanilla folder which I've created which I will keep updated um, and this one will be running the latest version of Minecraft so that I can get all the new features for single player. So you can see here the old version is 1.1. This is my default, my primary Minecraft version. And this is my single player, my secondary, and this is at Minecraft 1.2. So hopefully this uh, video helped you. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to just ask. I'm definitely willing to help.